this guy shows up evangelizing the Rust language. He does it by trying to crap on C by saying, how, how do you stop use after free bugs from happening? In case you don't know, you if you need memory for something, you can allocate or request it, and you save the number that you get back somewhere, <clears throat> and then you use that number as, well, this is the location of what I asked for. Then when you're done, you send that same number to free, which means I'm letting go of this, and now that number is no longer valid. Use after free means you asked for something, you got a ticket to the ride, you went on the ride, however many times you wanted to with the ticket, then when you were done, you handed it to the clerk, and then, oh, I, I, I'm going to use the ticket again. Wait, but you've already disposed of the ticket. You can't use that ticket anymore. So, this is a stupid, stupid choice to try and evangelize Rust against C. And here's why. If you allocate memory and then free it, you have to track it somewhere. You have to take that number and store it somewhere. you got to keep a ticket in hand. When you get rid of the ticket, it's possible to keep the number that was on the ticket stored somewhere. But the number no longer works. So all you have to do is if you free something, you then change it back to null. So when you have a thing you're going to track, the initial value of, for the thing you're going to track is null, which means zero, which means uh, there's nothing here yet. If it's null, you allocate it. When you're done with it, you free it and you set it back to null. And then, when it's null, you later on in the program, you go, if this is null, or anywhere in the program, you go, if this is not null, then you do thing. Else, throw an error. You do this while you're doing the coding. And you put in a little switch to turn it off, just in case, like, like whenever you want to do a distribution of the program, you can flip all of these checks off, and, and that's what the whole point of assert in C is for, for example. Like, just so that you can do a real quick check to make sure that something isn't null when it should, uh, or, or is, is not null when you try to touch it. That's the whole point. This guy wants to be like, use after free bugs. Oh, that's, that's the big thing. We're going to kill the C programmers by saying, how do you fix that? Uh, gotcha. Well, how do you fix that? You, you just make sure that it's set to something that says nothing's here, and then you check to see if it says nothing's here. If you're not allowed to open the box, when there's a sticker on it that says do not open, and you put the sticker there first, then you check to see if the sticker's there later before you try to open it again, oh wow, revolutionary concept. Anybody who has programmed anything in C for, say, three to six months, three to six months of tinkering around, maybe less, you'll figure this out really, really quickly because it's an easy mistake to make at some point to try to touch something you freed if you free it during some error state, but say you don't do something to go to past all of it and it tries to touch it again. You can actually easily find bugs in your program thanks to this. So I don't know how this guy thinks he did some epic own on C programmers when all you have to do is just slap a sticky note on the box that says don't use this anymore and then look and see if the sticky note's there. It's like, do you, what are you, a moron? Oh, wow, you really owned me, didn't you? Oh, wow, it's so difficult to fix this problem. I guess we've just got to change everything about the boxes and the building and the lot. Just rebuild all of it in some other super-duper safe language that automatically slaps sticky notes everywhere for you. Oh, wait, Rust doesn't automatically slap sticky notes there for you. It makes you rearrange these trapezoid-shaped boxes in particular ways so that there's no way you can accidentally do it. But you spend all this extra time trying to figure out how to not accidentally do it. Oh, but when you get done wasting all that time, the thing that you could have just done with a sticky note on top of the box that says, don't touch me. Um, okay, yeah, so if you want to cook months of developer effort and, uh, and then even despite all of that, still take down half the internet due to a Cloudflare outage, yeah, let me know. Uh-huh, great. Oh yeah, Rust is so awesome. You, you really, you really won me over, dude. Whoa! Oh, you're so smart.